Hey guys, welcome back to Eyes of Heaven, uh, where we last left off. These two Joe Bros are going to beat the shit out of two Kitas. And as it stands, har har, pun not intended, uh, my mod gets uh, Yoshikage's <laughs> killer queen. And ironically, I have a Queen the Band shirt on today, so, you know. Uh, everything is just, uh, coming up Kira today, I guess. But, no, I recently got a Queen Banty and wanted to try it on. <laughs> Give me KQ. I know. That's why we're beating up Yoshikage. I know I said this before, but, like, I understand they had limits on, uh, DHAs, but, um, having- th there's a ton of DHAs, like, I think would have been cool, but have- the two Kiras having one would have been really cool, just like the, uh, two Dios have one. <laughs> Here he comes. <laughs> Mirka, so, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Easy there. I was just about to talk about the live action DIU and then fucking Yoshikage came up from behind like an asshole. Being all right, Oku? Well, thank you for waiting at least before detonating a bomb on me. Ah, shit. I was like, oh no. Block, nope. Ooh, but we have one in return. Probably use it on uh, Yoshikage. Very nice. Are you a Queen fan as well, Abraham? They have been... I have like five bands, or not bands, but like five music artists that uh, are like cornerstones of mine, and, Kill and uh, Queen is one of them. Oh yeah, I've been a fan of Queen since I was a kid too. That was uh, my dad's influence. Oku, you wanna... Oh. Did I dick shot is one of my favorite, uh... There you go, Oku.
Oh, I should have added the the age thing to them. Oh, no, of course not. Of course not. Oh, with Bites the Dust, I believe that one. Yoshikage couldn't have done shit, but you could have, Kasaku. Tatakai Yeah, Kosaku. I mean, I have to dis differentiate them somehow. What is English? この次は。こちらから仕掛けてお前たちを消す。全員。亀の中の奴らもだ。一人残らず吹っ飛ばしてやる。Yeah, that is a weird. I don't know. Kosaku himself just looks weird. And then the whole slick back watermelon look. Yeah, I agree. I, I prefer Yoshikage, but he looks like David Bowie, another one of my favorite classic artists. So, you know, of course I'm going to be fucking biased. If it wasn't for the fact that I knew what Over Heaven does, I would feel bad for Dio. Yukako-san! Yare, yare dazu. Wang gang reunited. I love you, Kako. I very much appreciate that she spearheaded the uh, Yandere trope. WWE Dio. Dio. Tegoma Tachi ni atai ta seinaru itai no uchi. Sude ni hanbun ga Jotaro Tachi ni uwaware ta yo da. Sore ni nan nin ka ga mukou e negaetta. Time for Saturday Night WWE Raw. He's less purple than I was like led to believe. I think I've just been seeing too many uh fine sauce troll thumbnails from him. He's like he's definitely a purple, but he also looks very white. Like very just like very like devoid of color. Yeah, he is lilac. 
魂の力を増幅させる聖なる遺体は所詮道具に過ぎない大切なのは極罪を犯した36名以上の魂だ Yeah, this is definitely different than what was written in your journal in part 6, bud. Tengoku ni sakarau zainin domo wa Joestar no kettou ni sendou sare Izre kono Dio no mae ni yatte kuru daro So shite atzmatta 36の罪人の魂を吸収した時この基本世界を完全に支配できるという確信がある<笑>もう一つ報告だ。やはり彼も罪人の一人だった<笑> There is a mention of the 36 hunters? You are the Stone Ocean expert That's your favorite part That's why Pucci was a... Oh, that's right Because he was looking for 36 hunters in the prison Oh my gosh. I would say I need to reread Stone Ocean before watching, but one, uh, we're going to be, it's going to be like five years from now by Netflix release standards until Stone Ocean is done. And we can uh, binge it. And two, uh, I don't want to cry <laughs> until I watch it again. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. <laughs> 私が始末しようか。いや、私が行こう。ディオ、もし君に捧げるだけの価値が奴らの魂になかった場合、私の方で片付けてしまってもいいかい。もちろんだプッチー天国を妨げる者どもから我らの魂を守りたまえ I still stand by my statement that this is a better Poochie than the one that was in Stone Ocean. And that this Poochie is actually more of like of someone that uh, someone that Dio actually considers more than just a pawn. Like when he says my friend here, I feel like it's more sincere. Like it's the close to a friend that Dio will ever get. Uh than Than he definitely meant in、uh, part six. He's absolutely just manipulating Poochie. I know a lot of people think that, like, Dio implicitly trusted Poochie, but I don't think he did. I think he's just manipulating him. He was manipulating him so that he could, you know, so that Pucci would fill out, uh, fulfill uh, the duty that Dio bestowed upon him. And Pucci didn't even do that right. Dio trusted no one. Are you kidding me? Exactly. I know, but a lot of, a lot of fans, like, especially now that are watching、uh, the anime, are like, oh, yeah. Totally trusted Pucci, and I'm like,、ah, no, he didn't. He was using Pucci. The man in the mirror. Oh. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Invisible walls. Love him. What's up, Von Stroheim? Single vampires, no match for the likes of me. 
if he was just a vampire, that would be one thing, Von Stroheim. But, uh, he's got to stand, my dude. Boy. Get away from me, Joshu. You suck. Hara. Yeah, I agree. Abraham, he is playing chess with Pucci. But, like, I feel like he trusted uh, Elinth, Enyaba, and um, Vanilla Ice more than he did Pucci, to be perfectly honest. I feel like they had better devotion to him, too. Unpopular opinion. Not that Poochie's a bad character. Poochie's a great character and a really good villain. In that he doesn't fulfill what Dio wants. That's what makes him so cool. Honestly. Because he still does it in the name of uh, fulfilling what Dio wants, but Poochie's just become so corrupted that he doesn't even do that properly. I like that. I think it's really cool. I just think a lot of people who are like, oh, yeah, they're friends. I'm like, uh, you guys playing 4D chess here. Yeah. Gathering the corpse parts threw him into our world. Oh, Jonathan, sweetie. Lisa, Lisa. Nanikashira. Seems we're destined to fight Dio. Oh, that's a destiny she did not want for her family. Uchi was the most trusted? Oh, wow. I don't know. After, I just didn't get that vibe, even reading part six, honestly. I just, I don't know. I felt like Poochie was the most... I felt like Poochie was like a convenient backup more than the most trusted. Oh, weather and vanilla ice. Great. Uh, okay, well, it's vanilla ice, so where's Paul? I don't have Iggy back yet. Uh... Yada, yada, yada. Oh, Paul. Okay. Oh, shit, I forgot to take their level ups. It's fine. Oh, hit weather first. He is the worst. Weather. I just heard vanilla ice call for cream. Oh, those are quick.
No, you don't. Thank you. I'm sorry, weather, honey. Okay, vanilla ice pain in the ass. <laughs> Polar is hitting you with a chair or something I I desperately needed and didn't quite know that I did. Does he have chariot's armor off? I think he does. Oh, come on, don't let it. Yeah, I was gonna say. Oh, you bastard. Oh, you really should have gotten out of the way, bud. Oh, okay, Pole instigated it. I've got another one for you. <laughs> and Polar has got a chair. <laughs> No, just do it, Paul. Just finish it, buddy. Just go for it, man. Paul, this is why I brought you. Paul. I can't get over Polar throwing chairs at him. This might be my new favorite thing. Alright. That's not. Asking Pol Pol not to be boisterous is an impossibility. That's part of the reasons he's so lovable. Back to Boing Boing Cape. One of my least favorite levels to fight on. We need the Crusaders back. Uh, save Shigechi. Fuck Akira. Oh. So well, obviously we're doing Josuke and Oku again. Sir, 
いまいち髪型がこの二十ぐらを悔やすげしとえる God, I got so many cream starters now. Cream starter. All right. With how much of a pain in the ass the harvest can be, the uh, red hot chili pepper can hit hard if you're not careful. Which I mean, it's in a fighting game, so you know. I'm gonna pause to read this explanation on stream because it's cool. Um, my mod has been into JoJo's way longer than I have. Um, and I've been in it since like 2016. Right after DIU wrapped up, uh, right after the simulcast wrapped up pretty much. Is when I was like, can you bring over your DVDs? Okay, so mod's explanation about Poochie. Uh, Poochie was the most trusted, even over those three. Yeah, Queen Diho since 2003, yep. Ever since you saw that, uh, ever since you saw the SDC OVA when you were sick. Uh, okay, but yeah, Poochie was the most trusted. Uh, Dio didn't trust Enya, and she was the most devoted 10,000%. Not 10,000, uh, 1,000%. As soon as she failed him, he had... Healy Dan Killer, yep. Uh, Talents of Vanilla Ice were incredibly powerful, but the same would have gone for them. Talents had a devotion to someone who was so strong, but he was still put as a main line of defense. Vanilla Ice was less frontline than he made himself the frontline. Dio did turn him into a vampire, which meant he would have kept him as a warrior through the years. Fuchi, Fuchi he spent time with. He didn't just preach to him and use his charm, but he spent time with him. He got to know him on a very personal level. He gave Fuchi a task of if I fail, even when he was certain this wouldn't uh, even if he was certain he wouldn't. This was something he didn't trust any of the others with. He told Pucci there would be a journal if I fail, meaning he was giving him express permission to go through his belongings, something he didn't trust the others to do. He left such a strenuous task to someone he knew wouldn't turn. The other users, while loyal, had their own desires as well. Pucci was devoted nearly as much as Enya was. And I responded with like a statement slash question of so pretty much only vanilla ice can stack up and uh katie's response was the problem with vanilla ice is he was willing to throw his way a life uh throw away his life at the drop of a hat which is true but poochie would live that's true but the most interesting point of all of this like the most interesting thing of all of this is dio dio thought that far ahead but poochie still did turn in a way He did not do expressly everything that uh, Dio wanted because he took control instead of reviving Dio. Granted, everything Jolene was doing was uh, fucking things up, but there was a chance, because uh, we talked about this, there was a chance where he could have gotten Dio and he just, at, at that point, he had like corrupted himself too much. And he said it was all in the name of Dio, and then he stopped saying it was in the name of Dio. Like he thought he could he could eradicate the Joe Stars himself, so Dio wouldn't want to do that. But we know that Dio would have wanted to do that himself. Yeah, that was so late game. Yeah, it was. But like that that's what makes Poochie such an interesting character, is that he didn't live up to it. He didn't live up to all that devotion that he said, like, and that he did, that, like, Dio had placed on him. That, that's, that's just, like, the most interesting part about Poochie to me. 
I find that like a really good twist. Because I mean, either way, it was gate. Well, mm, if Dio had come back, who knows at that point? But Pucci made it game over. Honestly, who knows what would have happened if Dio had come back? I remember reading Stone Ocean through uh, a lot of tears and a lot of being on the phone with Katie going, I need the strength to turn the page. <laughs> All right, Shigechi. Oku, go have fun beating the shit out of Chili Pepper. Uh, okay, okay, or just help me out. It's, I mean, either one's fine, but... I'm not gonna tell you what to do. Oku, help. How the hell did I get over there? I mean, I know it's Boing Boing Kate, but still. All right, take a nap, Shigechi. All right. If it was anyone else, Akita, I would have beaten the shit out of you first. But... Shigechi did take, uh, priority there. We have two DHAs. God damn. Okay, well now we only have one. Fucker. Ooh, hit him with it, Oku. Bring down his soul succession. Don't you even with chili pepper. That's not what I wanted to do. And I should have seen that coming, but I didn't. Got him. Hell yeah, it's an S rank with Josuke and Oku. Oh, do we have to save Akira? Aw, oh, man. I mean, if it means saving Shigechi, it's fine, but... There is nothing redeeming about Akira. He did the same shit Diavolo did. I don't think people realize that. People are just like, oh, Akira is like a two bit villain. And I'm like, bro, he was shooting animals just to see what would happen. We're just lucky that 
Coco Jumbo turned out to have like a cool stand like Mr. President and not have a stand like fucking Buggy did. And that was, uh, that was the second of two rats. So, yeah. Ugh. Akira is a piece of shit. I love the bug eaten arc. It's just like a short little episode, but I really love bug eaten. It's a really cool episode. It starts the uh, Jotaro wears pink dolphins arc. <laughs> I do like that Jute changes his style up, like the, the pins on his hat and everything. I like that he changes those throughout part four. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Kick him in the face, Oku. He killed your brother. Kick him in the fucking face. Keisha would be really fun to have as a fighter. That's a thought I've had. <laughs> oh, beat the shit out of him, Oku. Oh, no. Punch him. <laughs> Weather! Weather report. Bad company would be really fun! Also, it could lead to some, like, really cool interactions between, um, him and Oku. I can't hate Keicho. Weather report is a strong power. My power is not going to stop. I'm going to destroy this world as much as possible. Okay, but yeah, this is a Jolene fight. Uh, Jolene and Ermes? No, Jolene and Ermes. Honestly, you can shoo. No, I don't care. Honestly, you can shoo. Ermes has a really good form to her kick. I just want to say that. It's like a former martial artist. I want to say that. I saw that on the ground. I'm not getting near it. We're not killing you, Weather, honey. Yeah, Jolene's String Barrier is why I do so well with her. And the fact that Stone Free is a lot like, uh, a lot like, uh, Star Platinum. 
and how it controls. I absolutely abuse the shit out of that string barrier. Ah, I thought I could get him on the back. Damn. Ah, 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 you keep me away from those, weather. Oh, well, shit. Alright. Can I get a DHA on him still? Hermes, don't knock him down. Oh, he blocked it. Weather. Damn it. Fine. I wanted to knock him out with one, but fine. I wanted to hear my girl Ermi's echo like a loon. I mean, I get why they want you to have honesty there, because he and uh, Weather are really close. Oh, my heart. All right, Anasu. Hermes, kick him in the face or something, please. Whether it's like her big brother. Shut up, dude. Anasu, she's not your property. Fuck off. ふっちが何かを企んでるというのなら、もう少し息続ける意味はあるな。ああ、is もちろんよ、ウェザー。Hmm. Oh, Valentine. Oh. Bye, Valentine. I'm sorry. If you're trying to get away from Poochie, it's not going to be enough. Or Dio. Either one. Dosta? Valentine. 
何かに追われているのかそんなに怯えて<笑>の聖なる遺体を持っていたとしてもこの男を倒すことはできない。Okay, actually having red SPR that means a fuck of a lot. Jesus Christ. They went um they absolutely went um Toriyama levels with this Dio, but 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 the caveat is This was like early Toriyama. DBZ was still good. And the villains were big and scary, but they were still beatable. But they were fucking a huge ass threat. And it actually meant something at the time. I mean this in like the Frieza and Fell way. This is excellent. Like actually having read SBR and realizing what Valentine is capable of with the Holy Corpse. Wow, that's fucked up. The Holy Corpse and D Force D, which is really OP. Tokoro de Mada Sakihodo no Shitsumon no Kotae o Kite inaina Jo Taro Tachini Nani o Oshieta. と私は聞いたのだよバレンタイン<笑>やつらと通じて何を企んでいるまさかこのディオを倒すなどと。思い上がっているのではないだろうな。なあ、バレンタイン。人間は何のために生きるのか。考えたことがあるかね。人間は誰でも不安や恐怖を克服して。安心を得るために生きる。I mean, it is kind of the embodiment of that. 私はお前の望む真実を与えてやれるお前が心の底から安心できる真実をなお前は優れたスタンド使いだ殺すのは惜しい God, I just remember he said shit like that to Kakuin too just about bringing him relief Before he put the flesh butt in. This has such good callbacks, like subtle ones in dialogue as well. Like the the like the do you believe in gravity? That's a pretty big line, and that's a pretty big theme. So like I wouldn't I wouldn't call that one subtle, but like this, like just evoking the image of um him and Pet Shop standing under like the red moon in Cairo. With like the two randos dead at his feet and Kakuin just feeling helpless. Like that like that whole that whole scene just flashed back into my head. And like I had finished Stardust Crusaders by this point, but I had just finished Stardust Crusaders. I was still reeling from the end of it. So uh Because I was really eager to play this, and Katie's stipulation was, "You have to. We have to finish SDC first." And now, yeah, it's been like five or so years, and I've definitely gained. Like I read, I've read everything up except Jolian, and uh, and I've like revisited all the parts multiple times. So like a lot, a lot more has sunk in. And it's just like reminding me of how fucking brilliant this game is, and I don't understand why it like was was this was this game widely loved, Katie? Do you know like the reception on this one? Because I know All Star Battle is widely loved. Yeah, see, 
Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought it was panned, but I didn't want to like make an assumption. I was like, let me double check. Yeah, this is why I don't understand why it was panned. Because it does such a good job at paying homage to literally everything. And I don't know, I find the, the Power Stone mechanics more fun. Oh, you're about to walk in out a sad part. Valentine's been on the run. Hell yeah, Valentine. Valentine! <laughs> Oh, he knows it's a losing battle. What a badass. Korega. The world over heaven. The world does look sick in that color scheme, but I'm busy saluting Valentine right now. Funny Valentine. What does that say? Eighteen forty something. Eighteen twentieth of September, eighteen forty-seven. Omae wa mo. Doko ni mo He exists in my heart, Dio. Fuck off. Oh. So, uh, just catching those in chat up. We have we we beat the shit out of Kira. We saved um, Akira, much to my chagrin. We saved Shigechi, the kid with Harvest, and we saved Weather. So, hooray. And Valentine just got erased. Which I'm very upset about, because he's in my top three. No, Joshu, I'm not talking to you. Jolene talking to her Uncle Pulpul. He has nothing new to say, but it's Jolene talking to her Uncle Pulpul. Yes, Johnny. Yeah. But Gyro taught me Tusk spin himself. How could it not work? Ah, he's freaking out about it not working on Dio. Uh, cause Gyro's whole thing is bullshit. I'm sorry, man. Like Katie and I were even talking about this off stream. Katie was like, I mean, Katie was like, I could reread it and explain to you exactly how it works. It's just. It's just, and I said, it's just stupid, and she was like, yeah. <laughs> what, Akira? <laughs> I don't want you wrapping me up in any of this trouble. Now that I've got chili pepper, I'm going to use it to make my life super fun and awesome. Man, you were shooting animals just to see the effects of the stand, and what you did to Okuyasu's brother. Ah, I hate you. Sorry to make Jolene freak out there. I just, I hate Akira. <laughs> Yeah. Can't believe my, I let myself fall under enemy control. I was unprepared and I need to make up for it no matter what it takes. Oh, it's okay, Will. <laughs> Mariah and the entire horse. Let's get an SDC pair up in here. Uh...
See, Cac doesn't have DHAs with anybody but Jotaro. Um... Joseph has one with Jute. And one with Avdol, but we don't have Avdol right now. Polnareff has one with Jute, Avdol, and Iggy, but we don't have Avdol and Iggy. So I can either do Jute and Joseph or Jute and Kakuin. I'll do Jute and Joseph. I was going up to Joseph like, oh yeah, Joseph, and then I'm like, wait a minute, no, I need old Tiff. Okay, Mariah is still our main concern here. Joseph Josta, <笑>恋人 all right, Mariah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I had a feeling she was gonna release a magnet of bullshit. What is it? Oh, Emperor's hitting me. I was like, what? <laughs> her dead body. <laughs> Not dead, but her retired body bounced off. Alright. Yeah, we're down from three to two. Because with Whole Horse, he always has a partner, so he's always got two. Alright. Whole Horse decided to move as fast as a horse. to the head. Didn't sound too good, whole horse. Oh, 
タの負けだお若いレディ消えな That's the shit I'm talking about. Why is Gyro second? Get him, get him out of here. I'm not a biased JoJo person, what are you talking about? I don't have a capital O opinions on everything, what are you talking about? I will say, addressing my earlier uh, Toriyama statement. Uh, early Akira- oh yeah, I can run around and collect shit again. Early Akira Toriyama is very good. Dragon Ball is a fucking masterpiece. I love the original Dragon Ball. I think as a fighting uh, anime and manga and as a comedy, it is fantastic. I think the earlier seasons of DBZ were really good. I liked everything up through the Cell arc. I thought it was all spectacular. I fell off at Majin Buu. And some of the later movies, like Return of Frieza, was obviously a very pandering, fan service movie, but it worked. It was really cool, really fun. Frieza got like this sick butt rock theme. Okay, that was the only thing we could get. All right, fine. Um, and it was a lot of fun. And like, getting introduced to Beerus and... Weiss? Not uh, not Weiss. That's not the way to pronounce it, but that's how it's spelled. Thinking of Ruby now. Um, Weiss, I think it is. Beerus and Weiss. Like, the, the god and, like, the time guy. Like, they were interesting. Like, and Vegeta going apeshit over Bulma. Like, Vegeta and Bulma have, like, the best character development in the whole series. But oh, I don't like the way Toriyama has written himself into corners. And how he won't do what Araki did, which was be aware that he was writing himself into a corner and just kind of let it go and start over. He just keeps starting over DBZ and trying to pick up and continue storylines that don't need to be done. Araki realized that was happening and that's why what happens in Stone Ocean happens. It allowed him to free up his venue again. Suddenly it wasn't just a story about Dio and the Joe Stars anymore. It allowed him to explore whatever it wanted to or whatever he wanted to. So I have great respect for Toriyama through Cell. Majin Buu and everything afterwards, I can just kind of do without. Oh, we still need to save Bruno too. Uh, no, we saved Bruno. Hank, can we save Bruno? we get out of the Lanigi here? I don't know. But yeah, those are my feelings on Akira Toriyama. He's been very influential to the genre, and he was very influential on in my childhood, so I thank him for that. But I just realized from a storytelling perspective, it isn't good. We haven't seen Diavolo yet, so this is probably where he pops up, because he was here last time. Yep, there was King Crimson at work. That was King Crimson. King Crimson is more... King Crimson's more bullshit than Gyro's bullshit, but I'm somehow more forgiving of it. Because King Crimson, you can't even properly explain it. It just works. Yeah. Yeah, because I was like, man, they're holding back on Diavolo. I forgot he really didn't play much of a role. Or if he did, it came later. Jorno, honey, you're the Don now. That's not too bad of a translation. Emperor Crimson is King Crimson. Not too bad. Better than Flaccid Pancake and Arts and Crafts.
<laughs> Sans part eight, because I haven't read it yet. My least favorite villain. Not that Diavolo isn't a great villain. He's just kind of lacking. I love the people that are like that argue that what Giorno does to Diavolo is too harsh. I'm just sitting here like y'all. I think I retweeted something too that was like uh that where someone said like I feel like I need to say this daily but uh Diavolo's infinite loop isn't for what he's done but it's for all the times he's used King Crimson to escape death. So地位も金も何もかもお前に奪われた。だが、それはどうでもいい。あれがまさに、なんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなんなん
I just hurt. What is that? Oh, that voice was uh, Spice Girls. Okay. What? Why is this glowing? Oh, because I can pick it up. Or I can set a trap of some kind. Fucking King Crimson. Alright, get up. Fuck, he's hard to hit. But that's because he keeps using King Crimson. Yes, being a stripper is fine. All the empowerment, but yes, Diavolo being a stripper is a bad thing. Yeah, I had a feeling if Trish wasn't keeping him busy, he would have knocked me out of that. As much as I shit talk him, he's nothing to slouch at. He's just my least favorite villain. Yep, there he goes again. Fucking using King Crimson. There we go. God damn. I forgot how annoying fighting him is. I'm glad they kept him out. I like how they translate the Italian there, but they don't translate any other Italian or Japanese, which is hilarious. Like Muda being useless or part one Dio saying Hinjaku Hinjaku. Yeah, Jorno and that Requiem still fucked him up. Ha. <laughs> 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 Aha, it's funny, you see, because of Requiem's. Yeah, here, Diavolo. Is it the legs? Please let it be the legs. Give it to Johnny. Yes, give the legs to Johnny. I can't believe this game did that. That was so fucking funny. Oh, hello. Hello, foster French father. I hear Harvest. Yeah. Yo, oh, yeah, yeah. We already know that. Overriding reality, that sounds even more dangerous than Diavolo. We need to stop it. Yeah. 
Again, I haven't really been caring too much about the Kameyus because... <laughs> no, Akira, I don't. I want to punch you in the face. That's what I want. I was gonna say, there's an upper level to this. Uh, Hanasu. What do you want? No matter what happens, I'm going to protect Jolene better than anyone else. Bitch, her father's here. Also... Bitch, as Jorno, fucking fight me. Uh, Bruno's is a tattoo. Um, and because Diavolo has terrible fashion sense. Or, oh, Anasu here? Are you talking about Anasu? Because Diavolo's is worse. Uh, Anasu's is because I don't fucking know. He can, I guess. Yeah, Oku has Oku's dialogue is not changed. Who do we have a revenge battle against here? Oh, the pink-haired gentleman. Yeah, that's Diavolo. <laughs> Duel and whole horse. Oh God. We have fucking. It's two v four. That is not fair. Yare, yare. I can do it, it's just a hate in my ass. Have Crusader enemies, fight with Crusaders. から all right, as always, Indul goes out as fast as I can get him out because Geb is the worst thing to have on the field. I would say the worst stand, period, to have on the field. With an AI, anyway. Excuse you, I hit block, so why'd you smack me with the cane, asshole? Yeah, I knew it was coming. Damn, dude! Cax holding up just fine against Whole Horse. And duel, fuck you, dude. Ooh, nice, Cax. Give me that, give me that, give me that. 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 Give me Good, fuck you. I don't particularly hate him duel, actually. He's a very interesting character. It just him on the him on the field is bad. Oh, whole horse, I didn't realize you were so close. Now it's 2v2. I both love and hate, I want to say, that Kakuin only has one DHA and that's with Jotaro. I think with anybody else, if he had one with anyone else, it should be Polnareff. Because he and Polnareff shared some pretty cool moments. Actually, especially against Jay Guile. Yeah. 
やろう面白くなってきたぜ君に任せる My favorite p u l l n e r f line comes from、uh, with a、uh, moment with him and Kak. Ah, he was blocking. Anshinshina, take again, still. She may show Jan. Omedetai Yatrada. Jibun Tachino Yarikuchiga Barete Yukotoni. I mean, it makes sense, though, with how Kakuin is. And who he was the closest to. I'm just kind of sad he and Popol don't have something together. Again, I realized they were constrained with the DHAs and stuff. But I can have a wish list. I, still, I am still shocked at how panned this game was, but I think the story is incredible. I thought it was incredible then, and even more so now, actually. Because it has a story to it. And it, it's different than your, than your side fighting games, which I'm fucking awful at. I have a lot of fun playing this game. Even if I'm not, like, amazing, I still have a ton of fun. Like, you guys have never heard me get overly frustrated this entire time. I'm still just having fun, even when I lose. Like, I think I, I, think I lost once, and I was just like, yeah, that's fair. That's my own fault. Back to Air Spina. But, like, with, uh, with... Uh, the, your typical fighting games, I'm terrible at them, and they usually frustrate the hell out of me. I still have them, but and I I am excited for um ASBR, but I don't know. I just like this Power Stone gameplay a lot more. Oggle and Iggy, safe please. No, oh, no, I'll take a dinosaur. <laughs> No, Johnny, you don't get to be a part of the party. Sorry. You are too awkward to control and work with. We'll use a real Zeppelin. I'll take a dinosaur and uh, my favorite of the main series, Dio. サマラは犬地にするためにここへ来たのだお前らの肉を切り裂いて臓器を地面に出して順番に並べてやる準備はいいかな、ジョジョはい、このまま一気に行くんですね Will, you didn't do your breathing <laughs> Oh, thought I grabbed it. Alright, where is, uh, Dio? Also, it's good to have Hamon user and not Air Suplina anyway. Oh, 
Theo. I would say how dare you throw a barrel at me, but I literally just tried to stab you with a sword, so it's alright. Oh, I think I got Diego instead of, uh, Theo. Yep. Sorry, Dano. I actually should be going for Diego because he sadly goes out faster. Which is crazy because Scary Monster is a hell of a stand. Like he just did there. He's kind of a glass cannon. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Excuse me, Jonathan is the uh, the meat truck here. I yeah, I know it does hurt. It hurts a lot. Oh my God, he is running around. Like, I don't even know what. Boy, you should not have that much energy, even as a vampire. Mm. Eat that tasty hamon. I know, poor Diego. It hurts. Save Dino Boy from himself. I love to imagine that Jotaro is looking at early, <laughs> early Dio Part One Dio. Like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> He's fucking nothing compared to Part Three Dio. Because, <laughs> like, to be fair. Part one Dio is extremely powerful, but he's fucking nothing after he gets the world. It's like nothing compared to after he gets the world. He completely forgoes like every other power he had because he's like, fuck that. I, I have this stand. And he's way more pro to throwing temper tantrums. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> that's exactly what I imagine Jotaro's response would be to two people screaming at him. Save, 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 save them. We need Polnareff. It's a Jutin pole fight. Iggy! 
And full time. Uh, no, we save both. <laughs> in this case, in this case, it's not a save either. It's a save them both. Like, I would have been happy with uh, not saving Akira, but I mean, we had to because I guess he's on our fucking side or some shit. Uh, the the enemy of your enemy is your friend. But uh, yeah, I'm bringing Polderif because those are his two best friends. I forgot to check Polderif's abilities. Whatever. Okay, Avdol has proven himself to be a pain in the ass, and so is Iggy. So I think we'll go for Avdol first because he's easy to target. To hit. Oh, I don't care if the rules changed or not. I still would have yelled at the game to save both. Well, Jotaro wins that. If the silver chariot stabs thing. <laughs> Says someone who hasn't hit me with the flames once. <laughs> Alright, Iggy is the problem, but we've got it. Yeah, Zafudu is, uh... Yeah, I was like, we're not gonna get this combo because of how the fool works. Iggy, stop gnawing on my face. Dude, off the spikes, please. Fuck. He was down. Off the spikes, dude! Yeah. Fine. Just save the Crusaders, please! No, he doesn't. That's why he's a good friend. Save them for God's sake. I'll go Abdul and give Iggy the pets and all the coffee gum he wants. Ah. <laughs> Abdul, please. Abdul! 
デルわしらがわかるんじゃなアブデルさんアブデル状況は後で説明しよう今はひとまずよくぞ帰ってきた I was gonna say Joseph's about to cry <laughs> oh, so is Paul. Iggy, Ome, Moyo, Yakumo, Tixara. Cono Cacus, Kero. And yep, thank God. Look at Jute's face. He's smiling and he doesn't even realize it. Yada yada. Oh, Jotaro, that's incredibly fond and you know it is. I would say this is the most heartwarming moment. Because, like, I saw somebody on Twitter saying that, like, no one had a better squad than Jolene did. And like while the Stone Ocean group is really good, like all the groups are really good. I would say the Crusaders are the most tightly knit, given everything that they had to go through. I bet he thinks he looks deliriously happy. Then he probably does. He's probably like, "Man, I look like I have a giant smile on my face." That's the awesome thing about uh, stands. Star Platinum often emotes when. Uh, Jotaro cannot sufficiently emote. There have been times in the manga and the anime where you can tell Jotaro's angry, but Star Platinum will be the one screaming in rage. Or Star Platinum is smiling when Jotaro just has like a subtle lip quirk. So Star Platinum shows Jotaro's actual emotion. But yeah, I, w I would argue the Crusaders is the... Uh, like are the are the group that are closest i mean as much as i like as much as i love the battle tendency group and everything sdc is something on its own and the duang gang and you know Asion and hey stone ocean is the only one without like a really like a group name i guess the prisoners i haven't really heard a group of a group name for them oh yeah, the kind of man who steals human life without a second thought. Sure, he likes to use flowery words like heaven and stuff, but he's rotten to the core. I'll put Speedwagon. What, Anasu? If you're gonna talk about, you know, my daughter like this, I'll just beat the fuck out of you. Jotaro-san. I will defeat Dio for Jolene's sake. That and nothing more. Acceptable enough. Gabby? Hello. Dosta. If Dio gets in my way, I'll just have to defeat him. I need to keep moving forward. Tadancha! I don't get it. Reality overriding, blah blah blah. No, this. Is... Damn it! I think that's what he said last time. Oku. Jeez. You're not an idiot, Okuyasu. Stop. <laughs> Hello, Tonio. Power up. Uh, okay. The revenge battle is downstairs. <laughs> Please tell me it's uh, I was gonna say please tell me it's vanilla ice, but we're gonna I'm gonna change some shit up. Skill tree. And since Iggy's right there, we'll do it too. There we go. Pole Pole has really good DHAs with both of them. Also, both have something to settle with Pole Horse, so 
five. Alright, I have played as Polnareff, but I'm not as good. It's similar enough, but I really, I do well with stands like, um, Star Platinum, Crazy Diamond, and Stone Free. Very Fucking Gab. Okay. Stop. Ah, 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 I'm near Jay Kyle. Get me out of here. Too much water. It's usually never a bad thing if you're a Hamon user, but. Abdul, 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 please. Okay. You bastard! I wanted that DHA! Pick up Chariot's armor instead, and then he blocked it. Alright, come here, whole horse. The entire horse, I'm very sorry, you are now punching bag. Uh, it's dangerous to get near him and Jake Isle, but... Not moving. Get off the spikes, whole horse. I can dig aisle. Yeah, I was near another DHA, but oh well. Chinese, no shiny. Chinese? Where are we going? Oh man, okay. I can't remember. Okay, so yeah, uh, next time I think we'll finish Eyes of Heaven? Question mark. I think that's pretty close to the end of the game. We should definitely be able to finish it next time. So, yeah. Um, we're definitely not going there. And we will, once again... Hang out on Air Selena, looking at the moon as cute. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and see you guys next time for hopefully the finale.
of Eyes of Heaven. I'm remembering things correctly. I think I think this happened pretty close to the end. But yeah. Uh yeah, have a good one guys and take it easy.